It's a duck bird Might solve a mystery Oh, rewrite history Duck tales Woo-hoo. It's a dirty doodad in the duck tales Woo-hoo. I'm so happy <laughs> I actually I will listen to it's this version It's a danger look behind you There's a stranger and to find you What to do just to run to some duck tales Woo-hoo. I will I will happily listen to that version. Like, oh, it's so good. It's I love this fucking song. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do some DuckTales. Yeah. This is actually like our second time through, but like the first one we did. Like a year ago. Yeah, we also lost the footage. Yeah, we did. So, uh, or something, or we just abandoned it. So I really like this game. Me too. Uh, this game fucking rules. Yeah, this is the original. This is not the re-release. Yeah. Well, obviously, yeah. Uh, <laughs> your we're, PlayStation's dead. But we're we're playing the uh, the gold cartridge for it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> They sent out to people. Yeah, I remember that. I was super jealous. I wanted one. I heard they weren't like very good though. Like there was something about them that wasn't as good. Well, it, it, the game wasn't actually on, right? Oh, really? It yeah. was just it was just a cartridge. Yeah, that's dumb. Like, or wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, no. I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong so about it's gonna, that. Like somebody at Capcom's like couldn't just like find an emulator and put it on the cart. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Are so, you all right, Nanny Goat? <laughs> <laughs> so, Stefan, tell me the plot of DuckTales. <laughs> um, like the plot of this game or the plot of the show? This game. Well, let's uh, start with the show. That's important. Um, Uncle Scrooge is a fucking badass that, that goes around the world looking for treasures. So he is a capitalist pig. Well, here's the thing about Mr. McDuck, and it's the difference... Um, like, what the deal with the money bin is. All the money in the money bin is all the money that he earned from adventures. Right. Not the money that he made through, uh... Exploitation of the working class. Yeah, that's, like... All his, like, business money is just for the business. Ah, uh, okay. So he doesn't give a shit about that money. It just exists. The only money he cares about is the money that he, uh, treasure hunts for. Okay, all right. All right, he's okay, then. Yeah, he's all right. Uh, That's why his, like, most valued thing is that, like, the very first penny that he found. That he found? Yeah. Well, that he, like, it was, like, his first treasure he found. Okay, and, uh, who are, uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie? They're his, uh, nephews? Oh, I just got a treasure that I didn't know existed. Uh, who are Donald Duck's sons? No. Nephews? That's what I, fuck. That's what I thought, but, like, they're... Also his nephews. So who the fuck is, are the parents? They just like, get passed around from uncle to uncle. Maybe like in true Disney fashion, they're dead. <laughs> that's, that's... Like Goofy's true. wife. Oh god. It's... I still struggle with the thought that somebody had sex with Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> somebody got guarished by Goofy. Yeah, something does not feel right about that. Oh, but... certainly did that night. <laughs> This game fucking rules. Yeah, it's this... one of like the best soundtracks on Nintendo. This is Tim Fulham. No. Is no? No. Who is this? Um It's Capcom. It might be Shimamura, but I'm not sure. So it's not Bun Bun. It could actually be Bun oh, Bun. Shit. You saved me. Good. I show you secret treasure. Good old Bubba. Yay! So I like to do this level first just cause. It's nice to have that extra hit. Yeah. Uh, and uh, who is Funky Kong? Uh, he's the dude that takes you from stage to stage in the banana flights. Okay. Um, Any other questions? Yeah, have you ever played that Fart. Game Boy Donkey Kong game? Which one? Like Donkey Kong Land? Yeah. One where it's, like, it's like basically Donkey Kong Country? It starts as like the Donkey Kong arcade game. But then when you complete it, 
It's like something else altogether. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, Game Boy Donkey Kong, yeah. not Donkey Kong Country. I really like that Donkey Kong game. Yeah, it was awesome. I didn't expect yeah. that. That spun off into its own series, eh? Did it really? Yeah, uh, Donkey Kong and Mario. Huh. They're still making those today, but they've gotten a little bit weird and like... There's like a thousand mini Marios against Donkey Kong and stuff. That sounds kind of cool, actually. Yeah, they're, I haven't played them since the original, but apparently they're really good. So I got I, a buddy at school that plays them. I have this weird thing where it's like I've got like multiple Game Boys, multiple Game Boy Advances. I have a DS. I have a 3DS. Yeah. A regular DS. It's like a DS Lite. But like I never play games on the go. So I never so you just, really, like, like, play it in your room, right? Yeah, but when I'm in my room, it's like, well... When I'm at home, it's like, well, if I'm gonna play games, I can just play on my computer. And if I'm in bed, it's like, well, I can read or something. So, like, I, I have these things, but, like, I never use them. I... Like, I've got a Vita for that same... and that's the same thing, like... I just trade off between reading at night and playing uh, a portable game at night. Yeah. Other than that, I'm the same way. Like, I don't... I don't play on the go all that much yeah. anymore. Like, I would really like to play the uh, Mario and Luigi games and stuff. Yeah, they're fun. But uh, I think I lent you those at one point. You did, and I, I never... Uh, the other thing that kind of drives me nuts is, like, when I am playing... Like, if I... The occasional time I do take my DS somewhere... Yeah. I like to be able to, like... I'm gonna play it for, like, five minutes and then put it away. Yeah. And when you're playing Game Boy Advance games on it, it doesn't have the standby mode. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, when you close the screen, just nothing happens. I want to go to Transylvania now. So that's enough conversation about Nintendo. <laughs> uh, what's the plot of this game? So, if I remember right, Glamheart, Glamgold Flintheart, I think is his name, challenged you to see who can collect the most money in a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. Are you having trouble hearing me too? No, I was. you were actually really loud oh. to me. It sounded like you were yelling. Sorry, I am kind of yelling because I can't hear myself. Oh, okay. I, ho I hope I'm not drowned out by you. Uh, the compression will take care of that. Okay. Anyways, enough shop time. Uh, Glam Gold Flintheart, I believe is his name. It's like challenged you to see who can make the most amount of money. Okay. And... Yeah, that's it. So oh. you're like, treasure hunting. Because that's money. how, uh... That's the preferred method of making money for the yeah. Mr. McD. <laughs> uh, and yeah. Not, not the exploitation of his workers. No, no. Yeah. He's like... For the proletariat. Oh. Whee! Scrooge McDoll. Uh, Stefan? Word up. What's the plot of Beauty and the Beast? Uh... Keeping things topical? That's weird, because I just watched that with my little cousin the other day. Like, the, the I guess not the new one. No, not the yeah. new one. No, it hasn't come out yet, has it? No. I haven't seen the new one. Like, I kind of didn't know it existed. Until, like, all the the shenanigans started. Yeah, like, I, I'm not even aware of what's going on with shenanigans. Oh, so the shenanigan is basically like, uh, there's, so there's Gaston. Yeah. And his buddy, whose name I always forget. Yeah. Uh, in the new Beauty and the Beast, they're gay. Okay. And that's what's causing all, the, like, the ruckus. Alright. Are those people who are like, no, you can't have that in a movie. I'll give our children autism or something. <laughs> So, Are they vaccines now? <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, like that—that's what the thing is. That's that's what's upsetting. All right, uh, I don't have like I have no. Yeah, that, that doesn't what? bother me. Gaston's still a fucking badass. Yes. Yeah. Well, Gaston in the original is just a fucking like the biggest douchebag. I know he was my favorite. He character. just goes around fucking punching people. <laughs> well, like that's the thing. Like as a as a young male. I, I never really liked Beauty and the Beast. It didn't really carry a story that I was interested in. Yeah. Like, I liked Aladdin was my favorite Disney movie. But, Aladdin was good. But uh, I liked Gaston. Yeah, I don't remember my opinion of him. Because, like, I don't rem... Here's, here's a weird discovery I made. Um, I don't remember watching that movie very much. It's not, like, a Disney movie I think about very yeah. much. But when I watched it with my little cousin the other day... I noticed as this is an I fucking song. love this track, man. Sorry. Anyways, go on. Anytime a character spoke, I'm like, all of a sudden I realized I know what they're going to say and I know how they're going to say it. Now, do you think that's because it's Beauty and the Beast, even though you haven't seen it that much, or is it just like, hey, I, it's that predictable? 
No, no. I, I'm talking about the tone of their voices. Oh, I, okay. I, I think I watched it more than I thought. Like, I must have, because I... It sounded like... Like, you know when you play a piece of music that you know off by heart? Yeah. And it's just... When you pick up your guitar, you immediately start playing it? Yeah. It became like that. Huh. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? I didn't know I was this familiar with the game. Or the... <laughs> with the, uh, movie. Uh, you know what movie I used to have with that when I was younger? Not, like, super young. We're talking, like, 14 or 15. Yeah. The Matrix 2. Really? Yeah. I watched that movie a lot. I liked that movie. I, I mean, I just liked the, the the fight coordination, like on the top of the trucks and like Demeryl Vinci. And... I was like super pretentious then, so I was like, oh man, I love the philosophical discussions oh, with God. God, <laughs> stop. Yo, man, I was like a 15-year-old edgelord. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing your trench coat and your sunglasses. <laughs> That's just like teenagers, yeah, right? right yeah, I yeah. was just a teenager doing teenager shit. And like all the architect is so deep. Yeah, I, and like at that point in time, it was all about the movie Waking Life. Oh yeah. Like, didn't Eternal Sunshine come out around yeah. that time? Well, no, yeah. Eternal Sunshine came out. I believe a bit. Fuck you, B. <laughs> Is there a game where bees aren't assholes? Uh Oh, wait, I know the answer to this. Buck Bumble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Buck to the buck to the bumble. I just thought of uh, Rescue Rangers. Okay, I guess that too. Well, Zipper's like your invincibility thing. Oh, wait, but he's not a bee. Oh, shit. I, I guess that's not the be-all and end-all. Oh. <laughs> Got him! Boop, ba -doo. Do, do, do. I'm mad at you. I'm not talking to you anymore. Okay, now I'm talking to you again. Yeah, but you never answered my question about what's the plot of Beauty and the Beast. Um. Don't get married to Gaston. She doesn't. Yeah, I don't. She doesn't want her. That's like that's the meta. It's like how can I not get married to Gaston? So it's like, oh man, oh, this beastie dudes. All right. Bestiality. <laughs> Homosexuality, not cool, apparently. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Yo, you wanna go back to Duck Bug, Mr. D? That's not how he sounds. It's like he... a Ghostbusters lady. Yeah. Hey, Mr. D. <laughs> it sounds more like Dr. Girlfriend from uh, Venture Brothers, oh but you haven't God. seen that. No, I have I want to. That show is incredible. It's my favorite show on TV. More so than One Piece? Uh, it's different, but yes. Wow. Is there a manga I can read of it? Of what? Of Venture Bros? No. I'm well aware <laughs> of the One Piece manga by now, thank you. You know it's like, not an uh, anime, right? I know, yeah, I know, yeah. I only watch the animes now. Anime. Anime. The anima. The animus. Oh god. Assassin's Creed. I want to eat my Danish, but I don't want you guys to like... Listen to crunchy, flaky sounds. I'm gonna eat your Danish. Fuck you. <laughs> we gotta- you know what? This might not be three episodes worth of show. <laughs> Whoops. That's alright, we'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just die a bunch. Nah, we'll figure it out. We'll See? do Captain Skyhawk or something. Oh, I love Captain Skyhawk. See? Bing, bing. If you're a good boy, we'll do Captain <laughs> Skyhawk later. I just love that cover. Yeah, and that a great the David cover. Weiss music. David Weiss did that? Oh, damn straight. He was the Donkey Kong music guy too, right? Yep. Yeah. Donkey Kong Country. And did he do uh, the Banjo Kazooie music? Uh, no. No. That was uh, Grant, Grant Kirkhope. Okay. Who is also uh, a dope ass mofo. This is mofo dope? Yeah. As fuck, man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ah, uh, man, this this game reminds me of uh, one of my friends that was his growing up. I this believe he got it for his birthday one year. in the cave? Oh, oh, the game. Yeah. We played so much of it there. Also, the game Steel Empire reminds me of his house. Steel Empire? It's a uh, uh, shmup for Genesis. It's ah. amazing. It's like a steampunk shmup. 
Huh. I think it's- they actually did a remake on 3DS, which I've been meaning to pick up. I should get a 3DS, but I don't play mobile games. Well, yeah, you just finished talking about that. Yeah. Uh, other games that have steel in the name that are really good, uh, Beneath a Steel Sky. Yeah. That was free on good old games. Yeah. It might still be free. I've on got my free copy. Yeah. That was free, like, when good old games, like, launched. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the super secret hidden treasure. Okay, do it. Same with, um... Was it Temptress of the... Something Temptress. Yeah, I've got the other one that they had that was free when they launched, too. They do a bunch of free games. Yeah. I really like GOG. I love it. That's, like... My favorite part of it is, like... When I go on GOG, all my friends don't know I'm playing video games. It's true! That's oh. like one of the annoying things about Steam. Although they have that GOG universe now. Which GOG like, Galaxy? Yeah, their version yep. of Steam. But, like, there's not real friend list thing it's going true. on. It's true. You could just set yourself to offline. Yeah, I suppose. I just call that, like, Steam's like the heat score mode. <laughs> Do I want to go right, or left, or down? Uh, let's go left. Seeing as you're there already go. going left. Wow, I've made a lot of money. <laughs> I almost don't want to collect any more money because it's a perfect, like, one, 125. That's that's pretty dope. Oh, yeah, you're right. Man, the bosses in this game are easy. <laughs> I always used to think he turned into a coin. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh. Pop screen! That's so good. Peter Parker. I think, I think the next thing that we need to do is get some, like, isolation foam. Yeah. Although that means I wouldn't be able to see shit. Yeah, me, me too. Yeah. Uh, or, like, maybe... More put, powerful microphones. Yeah, maybe put some, like, foam on these walls. Yeah. Behind us. The wall. Can you hear the wall? Yeah. Put some foam oh. on these walls. Here's the worst song in the game. <laughs> Everyone fucking loves this song. No, I, I love this fucking I, tune. It's alright. It just, it builds so nicely. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know, I like that, like, jungle theme a little bit more. Amazon. Amazon, I'm sorry. Whoa, they're Jill. Jill of the jungle. Yeah, right. They're in the intro, eh? Of this? No, of, uh, DuckTales. Jill of the jungle is? No, those alien guys. Oh! <laughs> I was just, like, staring at for a bit. The Gianna sisters? Gi yeah. That was a Commodore game. Yes, it was. That was a controversial game. Yeah. Because it totally rips off Super Mario oh, Bros. 100%. But, like, I played the new one. Yeah. The new came out a couple years ago. Yeah. It's not good, bro. Giant Guy Rana Sisters yeah. Twisted. That one, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I haven't played it. I'd, I'd be interested, too, I suppose. But like, oh, there's so many um, indie platformers for PC, it's hard to keep up. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're usually pretty decent, though. I mean, I don't want to talk to Launchpad. And I don't see what the point of him is, because I... <laughs> wow. Well, why would I go back, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I can do all of the level again? Oh, uh, he's just going ham. Is he a Come ham on, fighter? fuck off. Ham fighter, yeah. We're in Hokkaido now. Are That's you? why our, our sound is a little bit different. We're recording from Hokkaido. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Actually, it's gonna be fucking cold. See, I've been playing uh, the new Hitman, and one of the levels there is is in ho Hokkaido. Yeah. It's, uh, like, you play as, like, some, like, high-tech, like, recovery facility, like a ultra-rich uh, rehab facility. Okay. So it's all, like, super, like, clean and, like, lots of, like, white lines. It's actually really pretty looking. Yeah. Uh, up in the mountains. Um, that new Hitman is really good. Is that the one that's, like, episodic? Yeah. Yeah, I bought the disc, so it's got uh, all the DLC and stuff. Oh, so, so you don't like have to worry about that bucks of discs, yeah. Or oh, that's good. DLC. Um... It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a little overwhelming at first how much content there is. Uh, but I'm getting there. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. That's good. I've never been, like, a big Hitman person. I fucking love Hitman. I would love to do Blood Money uh, on this. I've tried to play that before, but, like, I didn't know what to do. Oh, bro, it has not aged well. I always hear that that's the best game in the series. And, like, I've got 
a different set of tolerances than you do for for aging. So here's the thing, like it it is the best game uh, until this Hitman. Like, yeah. Un yeah. Until this Hitman, in a hundred percent, I would have said, yeah, blood money, blood money, blood money, blood money. Uh, but like this game, sort of blow. Like if you're gonna play a classic Hitman, that one's still the one to play. Um, I was actually thinking about playing some of the Hitman stuff maybe for this or on stream because it being episodic, it's yeah. really easy to slice up that content. But um, yeah, the, my only my only real struggle with this with the new Hitman is the guard AI is really dumb. Yeah, like you can kill a dude in plain sight in front of a bunch of guards run around some corners and they'll lose you and then just hide in the closet until they basically forget anything happened at all. <laughs> so it's like, uh... Bless me, big pipes. <laughs> it's like, uh, I, I ended up killing a whole boatload of dudes on purpose, and I tossed, like, 40 bodies over a balcony, and the guards were just running in a circle around the bodies, like, we can't see them! We don't know where these people are coming from! It's like I was up on the balcony above, <laughs> just, like, unloading bodies. Just, like, standing behind them. Yeah, it was like, uh... Like, I understand it's a game, you know what? You want to make it fun and not hyper-difficult, but, uh... I'm really liking it. That's cool. Oh, I just remembered you need to go out this side. Otherwise, you fall into a pit and cry. Oh, cry, Scrooge. <laughs> Sounds so good. I like how when you jump up into the P5, it makes the, the hip and the time flash. Yeah. Probably because it's using the sprite memory up yeah. there. Oh no! I made it too. <laughs> Is that a second time dying? Yeah. Do you think, like, with the programming knowledge that you have, do you think you could make an NES game? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, I just need, like, a little bit of time to learn the 6502 programming language. Actually, I think there's tools out there where you can do it in C now, but mm, I can I'd want to do it in, in assembly. Yeah. Because, like, that's... I love assembly, man. It's fun. But... I, or did it use the 6502 or the Z80? It might have used the Z80. I can't remember. One of the two. Anyways, no one listening to this cares about that. <laughs> do. No, I'm the most real of listeners. So I'm getting in real time. I love how his hat falls yeah. afterwards. I fucked... Oh, okay, I didn't. Hmm. Yes. Thanks, bud. Oh. All right. Okay. Help me, Gizmo Duck. Thanks, homie. Yeah, cool. All right. <laughs> See you, dude. I just wanted to die. <laughs> we still on for pizza on Friday? Uh, no, sorry, Gizmo Duck. I got the uh, <laughs> thing. Sorry, my nephews are coming over. I, th I think they're my nephews. <laughs> it might be my son's... Question mark? Now you gotta fight a big moon rat. Yeah. Well, he's gotta defend the blue cheese... or green cheese. <laughs> Ow, fucker. No, you dick shit. Yeah. I hate the how long the invincibility period is. Yeah. Oh my god, literally it was green cheese. <laughs> yeah. I almost spit on the mic with that oh. bit of do. These are my mics, man. Don't spit on them. <laughs> Did you see that? No. He just like pogoed in the air. He's <laughs> <laughs> got bored. He went to idle animations. Oh, here we go. Here comes the treasures. All land clear! <laughs> it's Huey, Dewey, and Huey again. Wah, wah. If you want to get me treasures back, come to the Dracula Duck Manor. Because we didn't want to program a final level. <laughs> Look, with these sick tunes, there's only so much space you have left on the cartridge. Dope Illmatic beats? Yes. Yes? Yes. Of course! <gasps> of course! Well, uh, what's oh. your take on Street Fighter the movie? Uh, it's been a very long time. I was very upset by it when it was, like, new. When I was just a young man of, like, eight. But, uh, I don't know, I think I can appreciate the corn factor now. Oh, it's so corny. 
Uh, I watched Mortal Kombat Annihilation the other day. Oh yeah, I've still never seen oh, that. Oh boy. Two 90s ass movies I need to see are that and um... I swear to God, if you say face off, you're dead to me. No, 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 um... The Crow City of Angels. Oh, Jesus. Cool. For bad 90s sequels? Yeah. Yeah, no, Mortal Kombat Annihilation is... It's a train wreck, man. Come on. Come on, Bat. If only you could, uh... Swing your cane like a sword. We're just, like, being a little obnoxious with his flight pattern. Yeah, well, at least he's not vomiting three fireballs at you. Yeah. Well, I don't know, this guy's driving me a bit batty. Don't look at me. I'm looking put, at you with Put your dick ass. away. I'm sorry. Got children watching. Do we? Oh, I don't know, they might be looking through the window. Oh, okay. We do have the window open today. Well, well, the, the curtains, blinds, the curtains yeah. open, yeah. Dracula Duck, stop being an asshole! It's like minus 21 out there, I don't wanna... Yeah. The window. Yeah, we got some weird fucking weather patterns in There's Canadia. been a, uh, a, a special weather warning issued. Really? Yeah, we're supposed to get like 20 centimeters of snow tonight. What? And then another like 30 to, like, through Monday and Tuesday. For shitting in my throat. Yeah, I got an exam tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Yeah, I've just got fisting to get done. <laughs> There's always fisting to be done. Say it! Say it! You may have beaten Dracula Duck, but not me! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> if you want the treasures back, you'll have to catch me. Catch me! Catch me, Scrooge! <laughs> So this is the hardest final boss of all time. Got him! I'm the fucking best. Play the woo, woo. moon song again. Oh, and now he's gonna zoop over. Bitty, bitty, bitty. <laughs> Okay, grab that can- oh, one moment. Oh, too late. He's <laughs> gonna get you to do the old, old-timey old voice. Oh, oh yeah. Hooray, Uncle Scrooge! Hooray, man, you fighting treasures! Don't forget we have two! <laughs> God. <laughs> no, you did, like, fucking nothing. Yeah, I actually did- Right, lads, I couldn't have done it without you. I really am the richest duck in the world. And <gasps> in duck bird, this guy's lasers, airplanes. It's a duck bird. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. Duck tales. Woo! Good duck tales. Woo! But duck tales. Woo! There's a danger look behind you There's a danger how to find you What to do just turn into some duck tails Woo! Up another duck tail Make sure to like and subscribe to our vids Yeah! If you do we'll love you so hard duck tails Woo!